Right, I'm going to show you how to tie a banded hook clamp. So today I'm going to be tying all 15 to a 16s. I need to top this peg up. So that's predominantly what I would use for like my caster shallow fishing, my banded pellet fishing, anything that might be air rigging in the summer. You know, varying from sort of 011 to an 18s, all the way up to all 15 and the 16s. Once I get to that point of all 15 and the 16s, if I feel like I need to fish a little bit heavier, then I'll be swapping over different hooks, something like an SMWG. So this is purely my LWG box, spade and bands in three and four inches, cover all my spring, all my summer fishing. So first thing I want to do, band wise, I'm going to go for a micro band, so a two mil band, because it's nice tight band, I can fish a four mil pellet, I can fish a banded caster, I can even fish a banded maggot if need be on this. When I say banded maggot, you're generally better using a dead maggot rather than a live, because obviously they'll crawl out your band. Um, so to start off with, I want to pass my band through my actual, a line through my actual band. And with this, some people like to measure it. Now, the tool I use doesn't actually measure it nice enough for a 16s hook. So I'm not going to use any tool for this. I'm going to just basically guess. I want it to be about four mil or so. So one simple overhand loop, pass the band through. And then just roughly guess, I think that's about four mil. I think, yeah, that's about nice. That's where I'm going to time in knot. So I'll do it at this point, lubricate it, pull it tight, and then it's not going to slip. And then all I'll do now is just trim that really tight to the knot like this. Because what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to hide it in the whippings of my hook. So I take my hook, I've got a 16s SLWG here through the back of the hook and then just trim the last couple of mil off just so it's really nice and sharp and then i want to measure it where i want it to sit so i want it to be just level with sort of the bottom you can focus in on that just at the bottom of the hook so there's just a couple of mil gap maybe a mil gap i can get it side on so you can see better that's where I want it to sort of sit, just on the back. So a mill or two off the back. Once I'm happy with that, I will trap and pinch all that in one go. So I pinch it, and then I'm going to start my whippings. So I'm going to go up the up the spade, uh, up the shank. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Going over the knot. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That one's just gone a bit finger. So. 14, 15, and then one down. I'm going to get the line. I'm going to pass it back through the eye. And I can see. There we go. And then pull this. And then what I do is I put my finger on the bottom of the spade just to stop it slipping off and pull it with this finger. So I pull it away like that. So the line just tightens up. And then my hook is tied pull it down tight and then with this bit now I like to just centralize my band so if you can see there my line is just off to that side of the hook so what I'm going to do is just pull it this way and just re-pull it and re-tighten it and then my band will sit nice so that there is how I'd want my hook to sit a little bit of flexibility not too tight because that can push your caster off or your pellet off but not too long so that they can fish can actually spit it out. So that's done now. That's my actual hook and how it's going to sit. So if you can see there, a couple of mil off the back. And then I'm going to go to my pin. And on my pin, I've got four inch here. So I want to make it four inches long. So I'll do, put my hook over my measuring pin. Come round to four inches, like so. Trap it. And as I pull that off, that'll give me my four inch measure now. So then, same as what I do on my rigs, pinch the line, twist it. So one, pass it through, two, pass it through. Give me that formation. Now, that goes over there, trap it, pull it back on itself, pull it down, and that will give me a nice small little loop. I'm going to wet it, pull it tight, and then again, just trim this off now. So about two mil, get rid of that line, and that's got a nice straight loop. 
perfect for going on my pegs. So what I'm going to do now is just put it onto the peg. So that one goes over there. So that's onto the peg. And then with my band, I like to put it on. Just try and have my bands sitting nice like that. And that's it. Pull that little bit of line down here. Make room for the next one. And then just repeat the process. Dead simple. That's how you tie a banded hair bag. If you want to see how to tie a spade end up, click here and check out this video.